What's up everyone, it's Mateo. Thanks to Bruno Recording here. We are in Highland Park at the Los Angeles Police Museum. Just wanted to come check it out, see what it's all about. Apparently there's a lot of cool police memorabilia. Also wanted to test out my Rode Go 2 wireless lavalier microphone. Hopefully it sounds well, but uh, thanks so much for sticking around and I can't wait for you guys to check out this video. We are inside the LA Police Museum and right behind me is a jail cell. I'm pretty sure that they used this when this station was used as an actual police station. And these are pretty small if you look closely, like this isn't really much room and imagine like this was the jail. I thought this would be pretty crazy. What's also cool in there as well is they have some posters of some news headliners when Kennedy was shot and Marilyn Monroe was found dead. So pretty interesting time to live in. Uh, this is definitely like a blast from the past, but let me know what you guys think. What's up everyone? So what I'm standing right in front of right here are the two vehicles involved in the famous North Hollywood shootout where two bank robbers decided to rob a bank out of a B of A in North Hollywood, California. And as a result, it turned into probably one of the biggest police shootouts in police history across the US. So it's crazy if you see here, this is actually the 1996 Ford Crown Vic that has 75 bullet holes through the car itself. And to the left, this is actually the vehicle that the suspects drove during this bank robbery when they robbed it as they tried to get away. And for someone who has seen a bunch of YouTube videos about this, it's pretty crazy to see these actual cars itself and just to imagine like what events transpired that day and to think that these officers were just going about their normal day and all of a sudden this happened. So I think the biggest thing that was learned this day was that at the time police officers didn't have or at least LAPD didn't have access to like assault rifles and training and this was like a wake-up call for I think police departments across the U.S. to like know that hey these kind of things could happen at any moment are you prepared for it we saw outside there was a car about the D.A.R.E. program the D.A.R.E. program was created in the 80s by I guess a combination of the LAPD and the LA Unified School District to really combat any drug abuse gang affiliation I think it's really interesting because it was promoted and created by the police department promoted by the school district and everyone almost knew about it and they even had a mascot called Darren the Lion and as you can see here here at the museum we have a display of Chief Gates all the uniforms pretty cool I hope you enjoyed my trip over to the Los Angeles Police Museum. Definitely a huge fan of the North Hollywood shootout cars. I can't believe I got so close to being next to those cars. Again, to me, it's kind of historical in the sense that it really changed the way policing was done. And on top of that, like the museum is in Highland Park, which is a really cool part of town in Los Angeles. So even if you, you know, decide to stop by there, there's a ton of great eateries and places to go and hang out. It's a really historic part of LA. So. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.